good to go, Loosh. Yep. Yep, righto. Hi all, it's Mick Farmer from Oztech Drones. Uh, we're out here today. We're gonna have a crack at doing a map using the drone itself. And not only are we gonna be doing the mapping using the drone itself, we're going to be trying to resolve one of the um, common problems people have doing the offsets um, using the drone itself. Um, now the offsets can be a little bit troublesome at times, so hopefully this video resolves a lot of the issues people are experiencing with it at this stage. So at this point here, we're actually gonna be taking off with the drone over here, and we're gonna be completing our map using the drone as the mapping device. Um, so we'll start doing that. We can have a look over here. You can see our position here on the screen. Um, this is our workshop here and stuff like that. Um, the drone's position's here, and our map is gonna be out here in this area. It's only gonna be a very small demonstration map, um, but we'll give it a crack and see how we go. Um, over here, you can actually see a, um, a white chemical drum we've put out there. That's gonna be our fixed position, and it's important for you to understand that the fixed position needs to be either an irrigation valve or a fence post or something on the edge of the field that's not going to move in the future because when you do your offset you need to offset to that fixed position so often we'll go out in the field and we'll do some mapping and then while we're doing the mapping we'll actually find a fixed position and that will be our fixed position for doing our offsets off we'll photograph it and we document it and we pass that information on to the team that's going to be doing the job that way when they go out to do the job they can actually identify that point from the photo provided and then they can offset the entire map to that point and that provides centimetre accuracy. So down to 10 centimetres approximately, give or take. Okay, so first of all, let's start by taking off of this drone here. Now you can see here that we're over the top of that drum, but on here, you can actually use this as a guide as well. So you can use the camera on the drone. So we'll engage the camera here. And you can see here by alternating between the views, we should be able to get a, a, a vision below the drone itself. And we use that to guide us over the fixed position. So we'll just bring it back a little bit and we're gonna fix the position straight over that. So that's gonna be our first point. And I'm gonna mark that as our first point. Add point. Add point, and away we go. So now we're gonna alternate back. And you can use the alternation of your camera to guide yourself down the edge of the field and assess it for obstacles as well. So for this demonstration, it's only gonna be a very small map. We're gonna literally go out here, we're gonna mark the point here. Add point. Right, at least put it back on me. Yep, put the camera back on me over here. Yep, so we're just going to keep mapping. And then we'll do an auto close on here. And you can see here what we've developed. So we go. Add point. Add point, we're going to add our last point, and then we're going to auto close it. And that's our map developed. And we know that that's our fixed position. We have a fixed object in the field, and that's the relative point to the drone. So we're going to go save. We'll just name it test. Confirm. Okay, so we'll bring him back. come back over here you can actually see the map that we have now developed you can see it here yep so zoom in there yep that's it so that's our map that we've developed here so what we want to do is we'll just close that camera for now we know we've saved that map so we're going to go out of mapping mode yep so you hear it disengage that double beep indicates it's disengaged you can see the position of our drone just here and our field here so we're going to select the field and this is how you do your offset. This is really important. This is what this whole video is about, doing the offset of the P100 Pro. Okay, so you can see here, this is strictly for VRTK. It'll only ask you to do an offset when the drone is in RTK. 
So it's now it's just a matter of pressing on the map, confirming, and then it will give you this prompt. This prompt here, please perform offset correction. Device or field is of non-RTK accuracy. Please perform offset correction of the field to ensure accuracy and safety. So we want to go confirm. Once we've confirmed it, we wait for this to go black again here. So it's currently yellow. It will go solid black as it just has. So you have to wait for that. And then if you have a look up here, you'll see our boundary points are actually green. So it's an indication that it's right to be offset. Now we need to fly the drone over to the relative point where that chemical drum is, and then we're gonna offset it to that point. So now, if you watch what we're doing over here with the drone, yep, so we're gonna take off with the drone. We fly the drone over to the point. Come back over here. So you have a look on here, we're going to activate our camera. And keep in mind, you've, you're watching the drone as it's happening. So you don't want to let the drone stray away or anything like that. Okay, so now the camera's up, we can go downward facing camera because we're using the downward facing camera to actually find the point. So you can see there, the little target in the centre here. So we're going to bring the drone back a little bit little bit more and that's it that's over that point and then what you want to do is remain over that point press that point see how it's gone bright green and now we can correct it to the drone so now is our opportunity to offset that map to the drone's position so we'll bring him back over that point like that offset correct to drone offset correction successful go complete and that is how you do an offset We'll bring the drone back. And that's how you do an offset. So there is a little bit involved in it. Um, there are a couple of troubleshooting tips as well that people need to be aware of. And one of them has to do with the camera view itself. So what can happen is the screen itself can become unresponsive because the camera is open. So sometimes when you're trying to press the corner button, it helps to shut the camera down and then you can actually press the button. Press the relative point. When I say relative point, it's the point that's closest to the drone. If it's too far away or it's too far offset, it, the offset won't work. But as you can see there in this demonstration, everything has worked exactly as it should. And I hope that helps. Cheers, see ya.